What we have here is uh, one of uh, Pete at Casper Electronics in Austin's, uh, his first kit. This is a drone lab. And uh, I put this together in uh, uh, half a day, a little while. Pete, Pete designed it, and Ghost Wizard, drone lab, and uh, uh, some uh, plexi tops were done. Uh, a friend of his um, cut the top out with lasers and did the engraving. Um, I spent about uh, half a day. Uh, when I finished doing it, I had uh, uh, something that wasn't working just right, and the schematics were pretty straightforward, and I could trace it back and uh, reheat and catch a couple of bad solder joints, and it popped right in uh, doing uh, what it's supposed to do, and it's a, it's a drone. There's actually only about four ICs in it. Um, it's called a drone lab. It's designed to drone. It takes an external power supply, but you'll get about 20 hours off this battery. Um, those four ICs. And what you have here, let's see what we got happening. What we have happening right now is a single oscillator. Coarse pitch. Fine. So there's kind of a lot there. I really think this double bypass design is really, that's pretty sweet, really. He's just using a couple of parts off the IC. Uh, you can get the schematic on his site and things. It's really nice. Okay, now, and uh, Eric's is uh, controlled by this uh, volume input knob. doing on that. It's also being processed by the bandpass. You can hear that, eh? Next part I want to show you up four oscillators up and they're really not too far off but you don't really care too much is up here the tremolo circuit it's got its own on it's got clock rate don't know if you can see those LEDs there each oscillator has two switches on influenced by the by the tremolo and an invert. Does it go uh, quiet when the pulse hits or does it go louder when the pulse hits? And you, you can vary that with every one of them so all the inversions are off. These are clock dividers, these green knobs. They're doing three, two, and one on the pulse. And you can vary that. It's taking me a while to get the hang of this because the clock doesn't seem to go too slow, but it's the use of the dividers that actually gets you down to your slower rates. A 
The second thing is the clock has trigger in, sort of like anything from a 2 or 3 volts to a 9 volt pulse, maybe, you know, 5, 6, 7 uh, will work. You've got, oops, sorry. You got an out, an in, and a through for the triggers. So if I go in and I take the out off this other one over here, got a second one here, and I've got the output of that one coming in. So this one over here is now controlling the rates. <coughs> Interesting uh, little machine. Uh, lots of possibilities for interfacing. Hack points here where you can tie in your own circuits and things like that. A lot of talk about CVs, uh, things, um, or interfacing it with a modular. Uh, I showed it to my friend George, and George was quite interested in one as a very small portable um, that, that he could use when he wanted to set up some sort of a drone thing. And, Feed it, feed it to his modular through his delay lines or, or processors, things like that. So, you know, that's, that's the Drone Lab um, 2009. About 25 of them. Uh, you could first buy these in November. The Plexi kits were available on, on the website. And I decided if I was going to build two, I'll do that. I spent as much time fussing around with the hardware, oddly enough, as I did doing many of the other things. But if you like drone work, and there are a lot of people who do, uh, it's a real interesting little machine. Thank you.